Hello again, everyone. Chris Chavez here again with DroidShark.com again. So today we're going to be taking a look at one of my personal favorite apps. It's called App Monster Pro, and it's brought to you by ZX128. And what this app does is it allows you to back up um, most of your uh, apps that you have installed on your phone. It'll back them up to your SD card, so uh, you'll have a handy list of all the apps that you have, and you could um, basically back them up. And if you uh, are into uh, uh, hacking your phone at all, um, this app is pretty cool because it allows you to install all the apps again. Um, just like they were before, so it's a pretty cool little app. I just like it because I like backing up my stuff, and if you like backing that thing up too, then you want to check this out. Okay, so let's open up uh, App Monster Pro by ZX128. Now, uh, basically what it's going to do right now is it's going to check for everything that you have installed on your um, on your phone. And you could click them individually and back them up. So let's say if I click Raw Manager, uh, I could launch the app, I could uninstall, I could back up, I can search in the market, or advanced. Let's see what advanced does because I'm not really too sure in what that one does. And it didn't do anything. Hmm, okay, that's whatever. Um, what I usually do is uh, I, I like to, well, on the free version, you would have to um, click each one individually or um, back up all. But on this one, it's cool because every time it installs, it's going to automatically back up and stuff, which I think is really neat. So if I go to um, backup, you can choose to back up only apps that are new or new versions of the apps, or you can just back up all of them. So um, if you have several versions of the same app, or you already have that app on there, it's not going to back up that app. But I usually just do all apps. Um, because I like to keep different versions of an app, especially if uh, some developer changes an app and uh, takes out some sort of cool feature, something like uh, Dolphin Browser HD did with their YouTube downloader. <clears throat> um, okay, that's backup, and then we go to install. It's going to take us to the install page, and this is all the stuff that you have um, backed up on your SD card. So, um, on. Ooh. Unfortunately, this will not back up your um, protected apps or apps that are protected. Um, you can see here that the ones that I have on here are installed and there's a few that I don't have installed but I did back up. Um, App Brain, App Market, some other stuff, let's see. Um, Photo Vault and Craigslist, uh, that's an old version of Craigslist notifications, you can see there. Um, clicking on it, you could actually install it or remove and I don't need the old version of it so I'm gonna just try to tidy up some stuff in here and I um, got rid of that. Dialer 1, I like to use that on a stock Android ROM but if you don't know what I'm talking about then don't really worry about it. Um, you can check your whole SD2 um, <clears throat> or you can do batch install. If you click on batch install it's going to install everything that is in this folder. Um, I believe it saves it into an app monster folder but you can um, specify which folder also in the settings but uh, it'll just go through all of them and install them one by one, but you do have to click OK and then install on each one. So it's cool because it'll bring them up in, like all all at once, but uh, you'll have to click on which ones you want to do. So, um, well, if I click on Batch Install, you can see here too, um, if you save a lot or you back up a lot and there's only a couple that you want, you can just check off the ones that you do like, skip a few, um, do it however you like that way. Um, yeah, that'll back them up. You can sort them by size. Uh, there's some preferences. Like I told you before, you could um, hide the main icons. This will make it so it's a little bit faster when it loads them so that it doesn't have to look for the app icons. Uh, installer, same thing with the installer page. Remember sort order, I like to keep it on that. Automatic backup, you can turn it on or off. Um, so every time you install something from the market, if it's not copy um, protected or it's not a protected app then it'll automatically back it up which I like a lot that's why I like the pro version um, overwrite files of course I like to overwrite the files if it already exists I don't need to keep writing over something uh, there's the folder you can um, specify the folder that you want on your SD card for backing up files uh, it's called app monster it's the folder export you can export certain ones too so if you want to send 
an app to somebody via, let's see, Gmail. Um, it'll send them a link for like all the apps that you have installed on your phone. So I have 95 and if someone's like, hey man, what are, what are all the cool apps that you got on your phone? I can be like, well, I can tell you exactly what. And clicking on the market link will actually open up your market app and it'll take them straight to it. So um, I'm actually going to be using that a lot because a lot of people always ask me, what apps do you got on your phone? So now they will be able to know. Uh, sort by size about and it tells you about the version number and stuff and um, yeah, that's it So this is at monster pro. Um, I think it's a lot better than the free version I've been using it since um, I've pretty much had my Android phone back in the G1 days. So yeah, you can, you can get it. Go get it All right, so that was at monster pro by ZX 128 uh, one of my personal favorite apps It's been on the app market for uh, a very long time ever since I've had my G1 which was a uh, long, long time ago. Um, I find it absolutely essential because um, a lot of times app developers will update an app and they'll actually take out um, certain features or key features that you may love about that app. So uh, case in point, Dolphin Web Browser HD, they actually took out the fact that they used to uh, be able to download YouTube videos, which was awesome. And luckily, because I had this app and I was it was constantly making backups, I was able to go back and just install one of my previous older versions. And just like that, I'm, I'm a happy camper and I can download YouTube videos, so that's cool. But um, yeah, this I think this app is fully worth the, the very small amount that you pay for it in the market. And um, I think it'll make your life easier in general by backing up your stuff. So um, back that thing up. Go pick it up right now. I'm Chris Chavez. I'll see you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.